Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprite, zo graag een nieuwe aflevering van Latest Mystery Journey. En we gaan met Maverick die Rector uh, praten, want zijn laatste stukje film is gestolen. Ha, oh, my film, my magnum opus. Please, Mr. Rector, don't worry. I will personally track down the thief responsible for stealing the last scene. No, you won't, because I'll track down whoever did it first, Catriel. Very professional, ladies, very professional. It was perfect. I made every last deedle perfect before I was willing to show it to the public. And now this. Surely the negatives are still available. Um, you'll have, uh, you'll be able to produce a new reel and for uh, for another screening, won't you? But didn't you see the audience reaction? They were frustrated. Without that final scene, the story doesn't hang together at all. I wanted to give people the perfect film. I've put my whole life into this project, my heart and soul. We understand, Mr. Rector, but uh, try to let it get you down. Uh, don't, but try not to get it let you to Jesus. But try not to let it get you down. I will track down the uh, perpetrator. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. Try not to let it get me down. Are you mad? This is a disaster. A blow like this is just before the official release is the death knell for any film. And just when I thought I'd make it to the big, uh, big, make it to the big time. Uh, when I'd got uh, in with the top studios, ha! Huh, now it's back to trying to make ends meet again. Okay, I'm now a bit clear with them. Please try to calm down. Uh, now tell me, do you have any suspicions at all about who could be responsible responsible for this discretion of my work? Obviously, someone who doesn't like my films. Ha! Huh. Um, how am I going to face my crew, my wife even? They uh, were all on tenterhooks, uh, waiting to see how the audience reacted. It just want, uh, I just want the ground to open and swallow me up. I, I wish I wash, wish I was on that submarine right now, sinking. Mm, yes. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Rector. Sinking. <laughs> Lol. Oh dear, he's really taking this badly, isn't he? Yes, ridiculously so. I give up. Uh, I'll try taking him again once he's calmed down. You can't blame the guy for being upset. The movie was a big deal to him. And he's not the only one who's um, troubled by what's happened either. I'm kind of sour myself. Well, yes, I imagine you would be. This is going to affect sales for you, after all. Uh, like the I like the way you think, Missy, but it's not just that. I'm a big fan of Rector's work, you see. Uh, I was looking forward to the whole world finally seeing what great the great what great the, the director he really is. Now this uh, now this has happened. All that talent could uh, go to waste if we're not careful. So you two ladies better get a move on and figure out what happened to uh, that stolen scene. If it'll help, uh, I can give you the access to anywhere in the theater. In fact, I'll just tell uh, security to give you free reign. Uh, there's uh, the projection box uh, around the back. Okay. Normally it's out of bounds, uh, but I don't mind you going in there to investigate if you need to. A projection box? Aha, thank you Mr. Barnone. What are we waiting for? Let's hightail uh, it over to the projection box then. Yes, I agree. Uh, we should start investigating the film reel. Is there something wrong, Emiliana? I've come to expect irrational behavior from you, Catriel, but really, talking to a dog? Yes, it's only therapeutic. Uh, you should really try it sometimes. Anyway, you're coming with us uh, to the projection box? N no, I will be carrying out investigations elsewhere first. Amateurs tend to pull off at the, uh, and I uh, might miss something crucial. 
Uh, you see, Catriel, every criminal, no matter how careful, leaves a trail of telltale signs following a crime. Only a skilled profiler like myself can read them, of course. Which is why I solved this case long before you do and proved the super superiority of my methods. I'll look forward to it. Hmm, don't mock me, va bene. Uh, you'll see soon to uh, eat me soon. I really wasn't mocking you, I'm looking forward to it. Hmm, allora, until later, Catriel. Just try not to disturb the scene too much, won't you? Wat een vuile bitta. Wat een vuile bitta. Vuile bitta. Vuile bitta. Wat een vuil. Vuile bitta. Wat een vuile bitta. Oh, the projection room. So this is what the inside of a projection box looks like. Uh, what a lot of machinery. Hmm, excuse me, authorized personal only in here, please. I have to ask you to leave. Hmm, I wonder what this machine does. Stop, don't touch Albertina. Albertina? Yes, Albertina. Uh, she's brand new. If you touch her, you could put her totally out of alignment. She's very cranky. Not like old Rosalind next to her there. She's much better behaved. Bulletproof she is. Albertina is delicate. Uh oh, wacko alert. This nutjob's named all his equipment. Albertina and Rosalind? What lovely names you've come up with for your machines. Don't touch, please. I'm going to have to insist you to leave now. It's alright. Mr. Barnone gave us permission to investigate in here. Investigate? Sorry, I should have introduced myself. I'm Catriel Leyden of Leyden Detective Agency. Um, these are my assistants Ernest and Cheryl. We're investigating the disappearance of the final scene of a No Sub for Love. Um, would you mind telling us what, uh, who you are? I presume you are a member of the technical staff here at the theater. Oh yes, I'm Seymour Frames. Wow. I'm Save Lois Projectionist. Projectionist. I see. And what do you do? Uh, oh, uh, well miss, a projectionist is responsible for setting up the film and controlling the equipment during screenings. I must say, it sounds like rather sp uh, spiffing, a rather spiffing job. Just think of all the films you get to see. Don't make light of it! Being a projectionist carries huge responsibilities and demands incredible attention to detail. I have to keep a constant eye on the runnings of the film, fine tune all the machines and make sure the projection is exactly on the correct position at all times. There never, uh, there's never any downtime in my job. I have to spot all the motor cues and make sure I'm ready to reel changeovers as well. Mm, go uh, golly, um, it sounds awfully complicated. It is, but I wouldn't have any other job. I'm happy in here, surrounded by my machines, but people always think it's a duddle, and it's not. It sounds like he's more interested in the machines than in the films they're showing. Uh, yes, I think we need to ask Mr. Frames uh, a few more questions. Dan gaan wij zo meteen een puzzel krijgen, denk ik. Maar eerst gaan we even van die hintige muntjes vinden. Hé. Hey. Een parrot. Oh, look, Miss Leden. There's a bird in this cage. It's mine a bird. I thought it was a raven at first. Raven mad. Uh, like someone else in this room. Uh, miners are talking birds, aren't they? Yes, that's right. I bet he can say all kinds of things, can he, Mr. Frames? Yeah, I've taught the major, uh, mayor quite a few words. Why don't you introduce yourself, mayor? Uh, come on, say hello. Hello, I'm the mayor. Mayor Mina. Mayor Mina. He really uh, does talk. So what? Minor birds do. Dogs, on the other hand, now that's something special. <laughs> Lol. Uh, would you mind if you try to get him to say something? Sure, go ahead. He's pretty sharp. He'll probably talk to you. Oh, good old. Come along, miss. Let's try. This will such a lark. Will be such a lark. Oh. 
You really look after your machines, don't you, Mr. Frames? They are gleaming. Of course I do. It's vital to ensure all the equipment in here is in perfect working order every single day. Uh, the Catherine sisters over here are no exception. The Catherine sisters? Assistants of yours, are they? Um, I think, miss, that uh, are the names of the film, film reels. Ah, yes, I can see that now. The Catherine reels. Um, what a good name for them. Do you think so? I'm afraid I don't see it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Wacht, hoe ga ik dit doen? Hello. How are you? How are you? He's very polite, is he, Cheryl? Why don't you try talking to him? Perhaps you'll be he'll be able to understand each other. Can you speak Swahili just because you're a human? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I only speak dog, alright, not bird. Really? You never told me that before. You never told me that you can speak Swahili. <laughs> The point is, so far I've uh, only met a few humans who can understand what I'm saying. Maybe uh, there's uh, some birds or cats out there who uh, will understand me as well. But I've never met any of them um, if they there are. Hmm, I didn't realize there were all these uh, limitations on what you can and can't do. What a disappointment. Whoa. Oh sure, it's such a disappointment because a talking dog is so mundane. Oh well, I suppose I just have to try communicate with the bird myself. So Mayor, did you uh, see uh, the film Thief? Saw the thief, saw the thief. No. Jeepers, really? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Yes, who did it? You did it, you did it. Of course, I didn't do it. Didn't do it, didn't do it, ha. Who's pretty Wally then? Who's a pretty Wally then? Gosh, he even tells jokes. Amazing. Yes, yeah, side splitting. I told you, the mayor's very sharp. A genius, really. Oh, wacht, dan moest ik in een stemmetje doen. Chips. Alright then, mayor. If you're so sharp, you'll understand when I explain what, um, what I'll do to you if you make fun of me again. Uh, call the RSPB. Call the RSPB. Hmm, Miss Layton, if he, on, uh, if he, uh, he is only a bear, remember? Uh, I owe... Uh, I know he talks like a human, but he really can't treat him like one. Hmm. Major hunger, major hunger, popcorn, popcorn. Sorry, sorry. What was they? Sorry, major. I'm, I'm out of popcorn now. Oh yes, of course. What's it, uh, miss? Have you cracked it? Have you seen the heart of the case already? No, no. It's far more important than that. Oh really? I forgot all about the new durian popcorn I wanted to try. I knew it. Hey, I found puzzle. Excuse me, Mr. Frames. Um, but could you tell us uh, what you were doing before the screening today? Hmm, you're expecting to talk uh, me to talk to you. Can you uh, can you help me solve this uh, solve this puzzle first? Jezus, ik kan niet eens meer praten. Er komt door dat stemmetje. Cause of alarm. Cause for alarm. There are three different types of alarm inside a uh, completely dark chest. Spannend. One alarm goes off in the in response to sound. Okay. Uh, one goes off in response to light, and one goes off in response to vibration. There are tr uh, three buttons that each produce one of those effects. Okay, you need to set all, uh, all set of all three alarms by pressing the least number of buttons uh, bot buttons possible. Select all of the buttons that needs to be pressed. Okay. Oké, 
Kijk, weet je, die gaat sowieso... Inside the completely dark chest, okay. Hold on. With response to sound, one goes up in response to light, and one goes up in response to vibration. Ik denk dat je die sowieso niet hoeft te doen, de, uh, de knop van uh, geluid in de chest, want uh, er komt al geluid als een van de andere twee alarmen afgaan. If you'll entertain my idea here. Ah, it's well good. Nice. Still not a patch on Miss Layton, of course. Icing on the cake. Uh, you did it. You only needed to press one button. If you make it bright, the light alarm goes off. The noise of the of that makes the sound alarm go off. The vibration is caused by the sound of those alarms trigger the vibration alarm. Ja, zie je, zoiets, uh, zoiets had ik al in gedachten. Oké, okay, that was pretty impressive. So, you uh, talk to us now? I'd like to know what you were doing before the screening today. Fine, alright then. I was in here, of course, making sure all my machines were in tip-top working order. So you were in uh, where the whole... Sorry. So you were the one who actually ran the film? Yeah, I was pretty shocked when the last reel suddenly skipped the scene. And uh, would you have any idea who might have stolen the kiss scene? Hmm, no, not really. I mean, I really don't care. It's only a film, for goodness sake. Yes, about that, Mr. Frames. Uh, even though you work in cinema, you give the impression you don't really like films, is that right? Obviously, the machines I love. It's the machines I love. Give me Albertina and Rosalind here over a stupid film any day. Oh, and that reminds me. Um, I've got to get Belinda cleaned up. Uh, you uh, can't let the spare equipment get dirty because you're not using it. This chap certainly does love his machines. Well, I think that concludes our investigation of the projection box. And other than the machine Matt Seymour frames uh, and his pet Mina bird, Nothing uh, seems to stand out as being unusual. Hmm, yes. Gosh, you certainly seem to be deep in thought, miss. Are you figuring it all out when those little grey cells of yours, uh, as Inspector Hastings calls them? I've got it. Uh, I know exactly where we need to head next. Without a shadow of a doubt, the snack kiosk. Seriously. I refuse to leave without my free popcorn. I can practically see the little kernels of corn popping around inside your head at the moment. Miss, we have to focus on the case. The head of the great Leighton Detective Agency with its proud history and tradition can't be distracted by such things. Well, alright, but um, I will have a proud history and tradition in the future. Uh, if we can just let our heads off popcorn. As it stands, um, we have no leads at all. Uh, I think we should investigate another part of the theater. The pup get got a point. Snooping before snacks. Come on. Well, if the two of you don't want to come with me, then I go on my own. 
Let's turn our attention back to the case. Presumably there's an editor here as well, wouldn't you think? Uh, we should see if we can interview him or her. Quick thinking, go faster pinstripes. So how do we go about finding the editor? Well, I suppose we could ask Mr. Frames. Pardon me Mr. Frames, we'd like to talk to whoever was in charge of editing the premiere. You mean editor? <laughs> nah, this is news like editor, come on man. <sighs> He is the uh, editing technician. Rector's famous editing assistant? Yeah, he is one of the most senior members of Rector's crew. He was here for scre the screening today. Well, uh, given that, uh, it's the, uh, that it's the editor's job to cut and splice the film, I think we should speak with him. Um, he may well know something about the miss uh, missing kiss scene. Where can we find him? Good question. I don't know where he disappeared to after the screening. Perhaps he's still in the theater. Let's go and ask around if anyone's seen him, miss. Alright, as soon as, I, <laughs> as I've got my popcorn, we'll go to hunt for Mr. Thor. Maybe it will be quicker in the long run if we just go to the snack kiosk now and let it get it out of the way. Farewell, miss. You win. Let's head for the kiosk. En dat herden voor de kiosk, dat doen we in de volgende aflevering. Ik wil je bedanken voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vind je het een leuke aflevering? Doe je een duimpje omhoog, zie ik je graag de volgende keer weer. Adios, amigos.